Hello and welcome. A new case of binomial distribution. And again, we are going to fit a binomial distribution, but the case is unique in another way. A frequency distribution has been given, and we need to fit a binomial distribution. How? Because for a binomial distribution, we should have a small n, p, and q. But we have a way. If we calculate mean of this distribution, and if we believe that this is a binomial distribution, mean is n p. N is the highest possible value, so this is nothing but a small n in case of binomial distribution. And through n and n p, we can find p and q and so on. So let us start to calculate mean. We should have f x zero into twenty eight zero. 1 into 62 62 2 into 46 92 3 into 10 30 4 into 4 16 the summation comes to 200 46 plus 92 30 138 plus 62 200 this is sigma fx now we can have mean equals to sigma fx divided by capital n or sigma f here 200 divided by 150 so it comes to 4 by 3 now we know that for a binomial distribution mean equals to np therefore 4 by 3 equals to np therefore 4 by 3 equals to 4p because n is 4 the highest possible value of the random variable is always equivalent to small n for the binomial distribution so 4 by 3 into 1 by 4 equals to p therefore p equals to 1 by 3 and we know that q equals to 1 minus p that is 1 minus 1 by 3 so q comes to 2 by 3 now we have parameters of binomial distribution and they are n equals to 4, p equals to 1 by 3, q equals to 2 by 3, r equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and capital N is 150. Now to fit a binomial distribution we have to calculate probabilities of all these five. P of R success is equals to NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. So P of 0 will be 4C0 into 1 by 3 raised to 0 into 2 by 3 raised to 4. 4C0 is 1. 1 by 3 raised to 0 is 1. 2 by 3 raised to 4. 2 raised to 4 is 16. 3 raised to 4 is 81. So it is 1, 16 upon 81. P of 1. 4 C1 into 1 by 3 that is P raised to 1 into 2 by 3 that is Q raised to 4 minus 1, 3. 4 C1 is 4 into 1 by 3 raised to 1 is 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 raised to 3 is 8 by 27. 4 into 1 into 8, 32. 32 by 81. Similarly, P of 2 will be 4 C2 into 1 by 3 raised to 2. That is P raised to 2 into 2 by 3. That is Q raised to 4 minus 2, 2. 4 C2 means 4 into 3 divided by 2 is 6 into 1 by 3 raised to 2 is 1 by 9 into 2 by 3 raised to 2 is 2 by 9 6 into 1 into 4 24 upon 81 p of 3 4 c 3 that will be equivalent to 4 c 1 into 1 by 3 that is p raised to 3 into 2 by 3 that is q raised to 4 minus 3 1 4C3 is equivalent to 4C1 that is 4 into 1 by 3 raised to 3 is 1 by 27 
into 2 by 3 raised to 1 is 2 by 3, 4 into 1 into 2 is 8, 8 upon 81. And the last is P of 4. Here R is equivalent to 4, that is highest possible value of R. 4C4, that will be equivalent to 4C0. 1 by 3, that is P raised to 4, into 2 by 3, that is Q raised to 4 minus 4, 0. 4C4 equivalent to 4C0, that is 1. Into 1 by 3 raised to 4 is 1 by 81. Into 2 by 3 raised to 0 is 1. So it comes to 1 upon 81. Now we can fit binomial distribution. R that is equivalent to X in this case. P of R. If we multiply it by N that is 150. It will be expected frequency. Possible values of R 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Probabilities are respectively 16 by 81, 32 by 81 as we already calculated. 24 by 81, 8 by 81 and 1 by 81. Yes, now multiply these probabilities by capital N that is 150. So the results will be, I have already written 29.63 that is equivalent to 30. 59.26 that is equivalent to 59, rounding off. 44.44 that is equivalent to 44 14.81 that is 15 and 1.85 that is 2 and here the summation should be exactly equivalent to sigma f or n 150 since we have calculated the probability through binomial distribution, this is called binomial distribution or fitting of binomial distribution. I hope you could understand. I have tried my level best to simplify the thing. That's it. Thank you.